Okay, so <clears throat> in the top row, your overall energy is the chariot. So I feel like you guys may be on the move at the moment. Are you planning on moving or traveling? I feel like you're going to have some dynamic change that's coming forward in your life. You also have the High Priestess and the Three of Wands. So I'm feeling like you're really trusting yourself at the moment. You are bound for new things and you are ready to go. I feel like you are making moves and changes in your life that you need to be doing. Um, I feel like you're trusting yourself and you are feeling very excited for this new change. You're feeling excited for this new move that you're going through. Whether this is a move literally or spiritually, I feel like whatever it is, it's uplifting you. I feel like you're very... anxious on what's going to happen in the future with these changes that you're making. I feel like you're anticipating. You're anticipating good things. I definitely feel like you are in the mood to travel. I feel like you are expanding your horizons. It's like the, the mystery is all becoming more clear, especially with this Four of Wands underneath. I feel like you've kind of daydreamed about the possibilities, and now those possibilities are becoming a, a reality. But I feel like this is a dynamic, a happy change. And it's coming to you after a time of a lot of anxious feelings. And maybe some sleepless nights as well. But a lot of fear and anxiety um, with the Nine of Wands. Excuse me, the Nine of Swords. And you also have the Temperance card. So I feel like you're finally coming into balance. But you are healing. Um, whatever it is that you're going through. You're taking control of your situation and you're finding balance. You're having more patience in your life at the moment. And I feel like having patience was a really big struggle for you. Um, like you could be the type of person that checks everything like five, every five minutes to see how it's going. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like it's a new dynamic that you're feeling, having patience or waiting for something to happen. It could be that you're having patience on this move that you're going to make. Maybe it's in a job or it's, or maybe you're literally moving to someplace new. Um, but I, I feel like you've had to have a lot of patience in this situation. And now that's finally balancing out. With the Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're coming out of a time when you felt like you were unfulfilled. 
but you're trusting in yourself more. I feel like you're becoming self-sufficient, like all of the truths are coming together. All of the, all the decisions that you made are finally coming together to make this, this new outcome for this change. And with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, I feel like you've given it your all. Um, and I feel like you have had help along the way. But I feel like you have given so much to this situation. And now it's actually coming to life. That's how I'm feeling. That it, It's actually coming to life at the moment. And you... What you've created is now being fruitful. It's now bearing the fruit that you wanted to um, wanted it to to bear. That's what I'm feeling in that situation. Um, it, like I said, it, th this could be work. This could be a love situation that you're moving into. Um, but I'm feeling like it's actually something new. This is going to be a new change on your horizons. I feel like, I feel like saying you've worked on this long enough. Maybe you've worked on yourself to get ready for this new venture in your life or this is something that you're putting together um, and it's actually coming into fruition it's actually coming back down to earth i wouldn't be surprised if the ma magician were to appear in this reading but i, I feel like something very I want to say prosperous, but um, if this is love, it could be something totally different. But of course, if this is due to work or something that you've been working on, it, it may be very prosperous for you. I'm really feeling prosperous. Spirit, what else do we have to say for this? Give me some more cards for this reading, please. Tell me what this means. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it may be due to money. This may be some, some kind of new beginning that you've been working on. Now, the Pentacles can also deal with your family life as well but basically it's, it's material material wealth uh, maybe a raise new income definitely a new beginning with this ace of wands and ace of pentacles but it's a very creative very fiery new beginning something you have a lot of passion in Something that you make makes you very passionate about the Two of Cups. So yeah, this may be about love. The Ace of Pentacles may be about family. Maybe you're creating something and it's going to create a new beginning. You'll have a new family. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's something that you're holding on real tight to. I feel like it's something that you're really protecting. Um, maybe you're actually even keeping this, these ideas to yourself at the moment. Um, maybe you don't want to let anyone know what you're working on. But I feel like whatever it is, you're protecting it pretty tightly. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you're taking it slow in this situation, or you have been taking it slow. 
and now you really feel it moving. You really feel it gaining momentum. The sun. Whatever it is that you're doing is going to bring you a lot of happiness and contentment. This is going to bring a lot of good feelings and, and passion to the situation. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness and joy. The sun can also signify success. So it could also bring you a lot of success if this is a work situation or if this is something that you've been working on. Uh, it could bring you a lot of success. And the Seven of Swords. Okay, what is the Seven of Swords? Tell me more about that. What is the Seven of Swords? With the Seven of Swords, I don't feel like you're running away from the situation. I feel like you're running with this idea. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're running with this idea. And you're actually feeling it take off. And you actually have the Seven of Wands on the bottom. So I feel like you're, you are protecting this a great deal. Maybe from competition. Maybe from... Maybe you feel like whatever it is you're creating, you have to compete with someone else in order to be successful. But I feel like it's running, it's running really swiftly for you. I feel like you are moving forward at a, a very easy, free free-spiriting path. The Two of Swords. So, yeah. And the Six of Swords on the bottom. So, yeah, you... Now that you're coming to the close of the situation, there's decisions that you're going to need to make in order to bring this forward. Since you're feeling like there's some kind of competition, there may be some kind of betrayal um, that may be happening in the situation or that may happen in the situation. In order to move forward um, on your path and move into some calmer situations, there may be a choice that you need to make. You need to, you may need to take off your blinders and make a choice. What is this choice? Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. At the bottom we have Justice. So this decision that you must make may lead you to study the situation and look at the situation from all angles in order for the situation to go in your favor. But with the justice card coming as well, I do feel like whatever decision that you make is going to be the right decision for you. Um, I, I feel like you have the karmic balance to make the right decision in your situation. Um, <clears throat> I feel like whatever work that you put into this situation 
is hard work and you will be recognized for it but I, I do feel like there is someone looming in the background feeling like you are competing with that person and I don't know if this is in work or in love but um, whatever situation this is you should take a look at it at all angles yeah you got the seven of wands again so basically you do want to stand your ground and defend what it is that you're working on if, if this is love that may be someone in the background that's saying that they like what you're working for so so to say and they feel like they can have that too um, so you may not even know that you're competing with somebody or that someone's trying to stab you in the back sometimes we have those people around us that are total frenemies they feel very supportive on the outside, but on the inside, they're very devious and conniving. So yeah, I would be aware of that kind of situation. If this is work, of course, I mean, it, it, it's very easy to say that there's co-workers or, or someone else in the situation that's actually competing with you and you may not even know it. the two of pentacles yeah you definitely have choices and you need to weigh all of your options in this situation at the bottom you have a knight of cups so if this is love they may be coming forward with some kind of proposal some, this may be your Prince Charming or your Princess Charming however you want to put that but I feel like there are choices that are going to need to be made in order to go forward with this situation yeah at the bottom you have the full so I feel like you know you start on, a, on this journey you start out on this journey of discovery and you're moving to in the right well you're moving in the right direction I feel like you have done all of this work and you have this new create creativity um, you're taking all kinds of new chances and risks going on this new adventure of what you're trying to pursue But I feel like you're going to have to make some choices. And Knight of Swords, don't be too hasty with the choices that you make. Make sure to um, check out all of your options. Check out all of your options. Weigh all of your options. Um, make the right decision that works out for you. That way you're moving in the right direction and you are actually feeling the personal growth and expansion within yourself okay let's get some cards here wide open yeah take notice of what the people are saying and doing around you 
keep your ears open, your ears to the to the to the ground, so that you can hear things that are going on. And that's number thirty three. So three three may be very significant for you at the moment. It may be that you are thirty three years old, or that something in your life signifies that number. That number is very important to you. Three three. Look up the synchronicities of that number. And you have the royal you. Yeah, number 16. So yeah, uh, someone sees you as royalty. Um, someone sees you as very important, very um, together. Someone sees you as someone who is invaluable. You are royalty. It could be that you have an extravagance about you or that you are very like a dignitary. But there's something about you that's very royal. At the bottom you have the time machine. So that's the Wheel of Fortune energy again. So I feel like whatever it is you're going through is something that is going to turn in your favor. I feel like this is your, your good fortune coming forth for all the work and the effort that you put into something. But I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you're on the right path. I'm hearing in my head, just ride the waves. Monology, we have hold your vision. Yeah, so keep your eyes open. Stand your ground. Stay on your path. And that's just what I was feeling. You're, you're moving in the right direction. You're on the right path. Hold your vision. have a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra so yeah that's the the justice uh, energy that we were feeling as well so I, I feel like this outcome is is going in your favor whatever this is if this is work if this is uh, your creative ventures if this is business um, or if this is love I feel like it's all working out in your favor. It's all going to come to pass. At the bottom you have have faith in your dreams. The waxing crescent moon. So yeah, I, I feel like I, I feel like you're having faith in the situation. You're really trusting yourself in this situation. When you're making these choices, have faith in the decisions that you make. Okay, is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any further uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign. Sometimes those signs will have other messages for you that resonate even more. Many blessings to you, love and light.